Hello and welcome to the ZAttack Proxy Initial Setup Guide Training Tutorial. My name is Matthew Fuller and I'm currently an intern at Mozilla on the Security Assurance Team and I deal mostly with web application security. In this tutorial I'm going to be walking through the steps to using ZAttack Proxy for the first time. ZAttack Proxy is an intercepting proxy that's designed for the security testing of web applications. And it was produced by the Open Web Application Security Project, OWASP. ZAttack Proxy can be downloaded from the code.google.com page. Simply Google for ZAttack Proxy download to find these links. And there are setup files that are specific for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS X. In this guide, I'm going to be using Ubuntu. However, the steps are very similar for uh, Windows and Mac as well. So once you've downloaded the file that's appropriate for your operating system, you're going to need to open ZAttack Proxy for the first time. In Linux, this is done by extracting the file and then running dot slash zap dot sh. In Windows and in Mac, the uh, first run is just going to be uh, initiated by double-clicking on the icon once the installation is finished. So when you first open Zap, you're going to need to agree to the license terms. And you'll then notice that you'll be prompted for setting up an SSL root CA certificate. And essentially what this is doing is allows the proxy to intercept HTTPS traffic over SSL in your browser. If you plan on doing any security testing of applications that use HTTPS, uh, then I recommend that you set this up now. And so I'm going to walk through these steps as well. We're going to generate an SSL certificate by clicking the Generate button. Once your certificate has been generated, you can save it. I'll just place it on the desktop for now. And it will save as owaspzaproot.ca.cer, which is a certificate file. Once this is done, hit OK. And now I'm going to go to the browser. In Firefox, we're going to go to Edit, and then Preferences and then click on the advanced tab at the top. Under the encryption sub-tab, we're going to click on view certificates, and then we're going to import a certificate. And we're going to locate the .cer file that you saved from within Zap and open that. You're then going to check the trust the CA to identify websites, trust the CA to identify email users, and trust this CI, CA to identify software developers. Then click OK. Finally click OK again and then close. Now the setup of Zap is mostly complete. I'm going to be walking through how to intercept traffic for the first time. So from within our web browser, we now need to go back to Edit Preferences and we need to set Zap as the proxy that's going to be used to pass all of the traffic through from within your browser. So if we go to the Network tab under the Advanced Settings in Firefox and click on Settings, you'll be shown the Configure Proxies dialog box. Now we're going to click on the Manual Proxy Configuration radio button, and for HTTP proxy, type in localhost. And for port, we're going to use 8080, which is the default ZAP proxy setting. Check the box for Use This Proxy Server for All Protocols, and then click OK. Then click the Close button. Now if we go back to ZAP, you'll notice on the left-hand side that there's a Sites button. When we go into Firefox and we reload our web page, or open any web page for that matter, You'll then notice a number of websites that show up under the Sites tab within Zap. 
By clicking on any of these, you can view the resources and pages that have been requested, view the request that's sent, as well as the response that's being sent from within the browser. The left-hand pane here under Sites is a great way to see all of the different websites that are being loaded, as well as all of the resources that are being used within that web page. So that concludes our tutorial for the basic setup and usage of ZAttack Proxy. Be sure to check out some future guides on more advanced topics, including the modification of traffic as it passes through the proxy and fuzzing for additional vulnerabilities within your web applications. Thank you for watching.